Meantime, day two of jury deliberations, and we still have no verdict in the trial of two brothers charged with causing Ethan Liming's death. Matt Rascone has been following this case all week long for us. He joins us now from the Summit County Courthouse in Akron. Hello to you, Matt. Hey, Laura. Yeah, the, throughout the trial and the first day of deliberations yesterday, the jury was dismissed by about 4.30 in the afternoon. And so right now we're waiting to see what will happen when that time comes. If deliberations continue past 4.30, then the clerk told me that's a good sign that they are close to reaching a verdict. And so, of course, we'll stay on top of that. We want to give you a recap, though, of this trial. So it started for Deshaun and Tyler Stafford last Friday. Each is charged with involuntary manslaughter and assault in the death of 17-year-old Ethan Liming. Deshaun has an additional charge of involuntary manslaughter and aggravated assault. Here's what we know about the case based on testimony and evidence in court. June 2nd, 2022, Ethan's in the car with a close friend and two others. They smoke some marijuana. They stop at the I Promise basketball courts. Surveillance shows two of them got out with splatter ball guns, fired water beads at a group, and then ran back to the car. Now, one of those people playing basketball is later identified as Deshaun. He confronts Ethan. Ethan shoots him with more water beads. A fight breaks out. Soon, Deshaun's brother and cousin join in. Friends testify it was three on one when Ethan was hit and knocked to the ground. Deshaun later admitted to police he hit him. The medical examiner said Ethan died within minutes or even seconds of hitting his head on the pavement. Now, defense attorneys have argued this was self-defense. They also pointed to conflicting testimony during the trial to show witnesses could not be trusted. Uh, jurors, though, are still deliberating in a room just like this one. And again, we are waiting until about 4.30 when hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about where deliberations go from here, Laura. And Matt, you have some insight about this verdict and the timing of it all. Since it is a Friday, you're talking 430. What could happen next here? Yeah, so if they're if they're not close to a verdict, if they decide that they're going to break for the day, uh, we asked the clerk about that. It sounds like they would give them the weekend as a break, and so they wouldn't come back together until Monday morning. So, of course, we should we should know no more here in the next little bit. And we'll bring you the latest coming up in the news at five. All right, you have been on top of this all week long. Matt Riscone, thank you so much.